They don't ask for thanks, even though they often save lives on a daily basis. And we're talking about the men and women in law enforcement, and today a few were recognized for their life-saving actions. Traffic moves fast on Highway 50. You try to do training where you, you know you keep your heart rate up, especially where it crosses over I-80 so that you are prepared for these situations. August 3rd was no different. It's the day Sarpy County deputies and a state trooper were called for a man about to jump. When we arrived, he was standing on top of the, uh, the guardrail. Pulling up to the scene, I see him standing up on the on the barrier. We're, we're just here to help you. The man standing out here was preparing to take his own life. A tense situation, but when the two deputies and trooper approached, another problem presented itself. The man only spoke Spanish. They only spoke English. You take Spanish courses and unfortunately you can't remember everything on the spot. Staying calm, You're right, man. they tried to talk him down, but he was teetering. Uh, Deputy Reeve was, uh, had the subject's attention diverted, and uh, me and Deputy Lamarck um, kind of gave each other a look, and we all three grabbed him. Come here, man. Come on, come on. Back up, back up, back up. Oh. A life saving look that didn't go unnoticed. Next award is for uh, Trooper Tatum Knight, Katie Reeve, and Kevin DeMarc. All three receiving a life saving award for their actions. But they'll tell you it's just part of the job. It's meeting people like that that we're not going to meet them on their best day. But if we can help them that day, then hopefully the rest they can get the help that they need. And on this day, you're staying in the car, man. That passion, the squad's coming to get you smarter. Made all the difference. Now, now we're here on Highway 50, and that man did tell deputies later that when he was up here on the barrier, he was planning to jump. And actually, when they got him down, they put him in handcuffs. And even then, he tried to jump again. But John Mallory, fortunately, the deputies and the trooper, they had their hands on him. So again, he was unsuccessful. Aaron, do we know what happened to this man? Yes, he was taken by squad to an area hospital and was put into emergency protective custody. Thanks, Aaron. What an amazing rescue. And uh, these men and women, not the only ones to actually receive uh, commendations today. The Lifesaver Award, Sarpy County Deputy Earl Johnson was also recognized. In August, he performed CPR on a 30-year-old man until EMS arrived. As it turns out, the man had a tumor in his throat that he didn't know about. Without Johnson's actions, doctors believe the man would have died.